If you've ever found yourself staring at a blank timeline, wondering how on earth you're going to make your edit look cinematic, stylish, and on deadline, trust me, I've been there. As a motion graphics designer for over 20 years, I know exactly how much time and effort it takes to build stunning visuals from scratch. Keyframes, masks, pre-comps, it's not for the faint of heart. Honestly, only the bravest editors dare to tread into this world without a little help. And now we live in an era of subscriptions, music, software, toothbrushes, everything nowadays seems to be subscription-based and most aren't worth it, but some very much are. Motion BFX Design Studio is one of those rare gems that I find myself using on every project. It actually pays back in time saved and quality gained. I've been using Motion BFX plugins for years. They have saved my butt on client projects more times than I can count. And their stuff doesn't just look good, it feels pro. The animations are buttery smooth, the typography is on point, and everything is customizable to match the brand or style. Design Studio is their all access extension, giving unlimited downloads to some of the best design plugins, effects, titles, and templates that are out there for Final Cut Pro. And the fact that they're constantly adding new assets, you're never stuck with the same tools. It's like opening up Final Cut Pro and finding new assets every single time. And having categories for every type of project, social media, YouTube, cinematic titles, lower thirds, transitions, callouts, even product mockups, it feels like it's all there and it's plug and play. And it's all searchable. Find what you need and download it. Or right click on any asset, download multiple at once. And one of my favorite things, you can curate your own personal collection of go-to templates and effects right inside the app. So if you find something that you like, you can just favorite it and you can find it very quickly in your favorites just by clicking the star. Or if you click the folder, you can create your own collection and just create a collection of all the titles you use, transitions, effects that make your footage instantly pop. Or if you're working on a specific project, collect them all in that one space so they're easily accessible. So no more digging through folders trying to remember the name of that one plugin you used last year. The favorites are just a click away that's super easy and it seriously speeds things up. And if you have a dual screen, you can just move it to the other monitor or just make room for it beside Final Cut Pro. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a simple edit and I can just drag it in. Just go to the typography. And because it's motion VFX, you know that all these aspects are editable. So now I can change the text. So we dropped in a camera move, an effect, and a title over the entire thing. And this took me maybe 30 seconds. And that's what Design Studio is all about. Taking your edits from good to pro level without killing your time or creativity or without having to learn how to do all these motion graphics yourself just to compete. And some of my favorite assets are very clean and nice backgrounds that I use over and over again. Different kinds of split screens effect that I use a lot to compare A and B to be able to have someone talking on screen while showing the item. Many times I have to do graphs and charts to show progress over time or demonstrate really complex numbers into simple graphs that people can understand. And there's typography that I love to use over and over again, especially when talking about features of specific products and having exciting ways to present boring information. And these are always fantastic to have different and multiple versions of. So I always look for new and exciting ones every time I have a chance. Overlay effects are always essential when you're trying to take boring footage and make it a little bit more exciting. Their intros are always well designed and they're great when all you have is a logo but no time to create a brand new animation. And if you're working on any of the social platforms, especially YouTube, there are plenty of assets and animations that are great for that kind of work without having to think about it. And if you have favorite creators out there, they have their own collections on here for you to be able to just use what they use and create and start learning how to create the way they create. So it's a great way to even start learning how to make better looking videos. At the end of the day, we all want our videos to look amazing. But more importantly, 
We want them done. And Design Studio helps me hit both goals every single time. So that is why, yeah, it's a subscription, but this one saves me hours and helps me communicate my ideas that are in my head a lot better. And if you're serious about editing but want to elevate your videos and want to skip the headache of building graphics from scratch, check out Design Studio. I'll leave a link down below and maybe you'll start building your own favorites collection too. As always, thanks for watching.